come back to life and third before the storm. Sorry, I'm trying to get adjusted. <laughs> Just so everybody knows, we are going to be streaming for about one hour, so I'm sorry if I cut it off within the hour mark, because, you know, we don't... So today, we are going to be starting in the school play! Another PC viewer, if you're in here, welcome. <laughs> hey, I appreciate it, so thank you. <laughs> uh, I hope you can hear me. Wow, it is 7 a.m. over here, everybody. I was gonna do this like at five, but like the game wasn't downloaded, so I had to wait. Yeah. <laughs> Are you in here on? Come here. Can you hear me? Here. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's continue on. There's nobody cares. Ooh, so excited! Previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other. But you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. I don't know why my kid is so low. Hey, do you know if Rachel is a gamer? How would you like to join me yeah. on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe. If one day I'm just out of here, let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that Alexa? Woman? That was been alarm for 7:30 a.m. And that woman. You could turn the air off when that goes off. Not my mom. <laughs> we already seen all that, so why not? <laughs> Here we go. Woo. CJ, hello CJ. My people on the Xbox. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, prevailing bond. Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Uh, don't get in trouble again? Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? 
In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Attempting to sabotage the academic goals of one of our top students. Victoria Chase. <laughs> I don't know who she cheated or fuck that. You're fucking joking, right? Victoria tried to cheat off me and I stopped her. You should be thanking me. I think what my daughter is trying to say... Miss Price can speak for herself, as she often does to her detriment. For her plagiarism, Miss Chase might have been suspended. Might have. If Mr. Prescott, Nathan Prescott, hadn't spoken to me on Victoria's behalf, and we have witnesses saying Miss Price was also involved in a bullying incident of the same Mr. Prescott. <sighs> If involved means not sticking out my neck for Blackwell's richest ass child, I didn't realize that was a crime. Your lack of awareness does not absolve you of anything, Miss Price. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. Reassure Mom or Calm Wells? Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? Chloe, now is not the time. Cut. And yet, even with your prodigious record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this, but I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me, but only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe, that you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss Price? Fine, yes. It was her idea, but it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or... Coerce her? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel... Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Excuse me? Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? <laughs> oh my god, I just want to enjoy the show. Yes, we're gonna enjoy the you show. You have no right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? Let's all just calm down. After everything we... She's been through in the last two years. You should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Price. Mrs. Price. 
Mrs. Price, I appreciate your position, but I assure you, it is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. No. But the performance is tonight. For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, don't Mr. You think, Amber, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure you're understudy. Victoria Chase. How fitting. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is what such... What was that, Miss Price? <sighs> Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. <sighs> no. Nothing to add. I'm glad. Though Chloe may not have been the mastermind of yesterday's events, it was, as I prefaced, the proverbial last straw. In light of your many past transgressions, I have no choice but to suspend you for the rest of the year. But it was the other girl's idea. She confessed. And she will be punished accordingly. But that does not absolve Chloe of her responsibility. I am truly sorry it has come to this. But Chloe will have the chance for reinstatement in the fall. Her actions, beginning now, will be weighed heavily in that decision. Do you understand me? Both of you. Yeah. I mean... As much as I ever do. Chloe? We understand, Mr. Wells. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. Well, at least you didn't get expelled. If you do the other option, she gets expelled, so she's only suspended. It's not bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price? I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me. Hey, Skip. Fuck them. Bunch of fascists. <laughs> I never saw that. Hey. I have, uh, I have seen this game play before. Just wanted to say, it sucks what is happening to you. Thanks, Skip. You're going to be missed. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here.
Man, I wish um my first high school had um lockers. Well, we did, but we didn't use them. So the second high school I went to, we actually did use the lockers. I shared with like seven other girls. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder who will grace this space after me. And I don't think the third school I went to didn't have it either. They didn't have loggers. Nope. Kindergarten, just like, yeah. Finally, what I actually came here for. Jackpot. Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. <laughs> Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me... Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? It's so weird to see them like before the actual storm because this is like a pre prequel yeah of the first one we did but yeah you know whatever. <laughs> No, I know. Later, Skip. Later. Looks like David's here. Awesome. Oops, my bad. Sorry. It'd be kind of weird if my teacher was messaging me. Yeah. Okay. Max would have loved this shit. Visual concepts, intro to composition, intro to ceramics. My husband took ceramics. Intermediate Photoshop, I took Photoshop. Intro to character modeling and animation, photography, I actually took photography and Photoshop at the same time. Independent studies and education only. Cool. Yeah, I would have enjoyed some of these. <laughs> Ooh. 
We're going to. We're just gonna walk out. Oh, I'm just gonna take this here mope. Three guesses mope. whose bike this is, and they all start with Miss Grant. Damn. I guess I will miss one thing about this place. Science does. It said science doesn't care what you believe. Wells's car. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. Mm. That'd be cool if you could Taking do that. pride in Blackwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. Also, the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. Oh, they're Elliot. Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I, uh, was suspended. Wait, really? Holy shit! I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. <laughs> Do you want a hug? Okay. Uh, I like hugs. Okay. Oh, I like hugs. <laughs> Aww. Get all up in there, man. Thanks. Hug back. Uh, it sucks for Rachel, too. She was kicked out of the play because of me. She'll live. Harsh, man. Anyway, what are you doing here? I thought I should come early to grab tickets. For the Tempest? You said we might see it together. Ah, oh, right. Good call. Did you get my text about hanging out afterwards? Yes, I did. Yeah. I'm not really big on making plans, but maybe. Cool, cool. Uh, sounds, sounds good. I better go. Uh, my mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Later. That's cool. I actually never done that either. Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. Don't worry, we're just stalling, you know. His head much? That has to be Skip's car. Cool. It's about damn time. David, please. At least I'll have uh, plenty of free time to take up skateboarding again. If I feel like it. Thank you, David. His name's David, right? That's funny, they're just standing there. <laughs> Mom is clearly fighting to hide her disappointment. Which, of course, just makes this worse. Hello, Commander Root. Welcome. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Can we please do this later, or I don't care? Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. Or what, or she's my mother? Or what, David? What will you do? You do not want to test me. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? How to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. 
Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? Someone needed my help. Who? Your friend Rachel? Because I think the daughter of the DA is going to be just fine. I need your help. Me. Your mother. We need to get our own house in order. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about okay. Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. It wasn't in the chat, huh? If you improve your attitude going <laughs> forward. It wasn't in the chat. Incident? What incident? I'll just say we had a rather frank discussion. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over. Sure. Sure. Why not? Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. <laughs> David, do you really think now is the right time? Joyce, please. We must be a united front. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, you saw how I was treated in there. Now you want to treat me the same way? I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe. And I'm sorry, but David feels... Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. <laughs> Comply or refuse. I think either way, you're still gonna have to. You want to see my shit so badly? Ooh, weed! Oh no, the horror. Happy? <laughs> It's marijuana, all right. No, Chloe, I am not happy. But I am relieved that you came clean. I hope this can be the beginning of a new chapter for us. A new chapter. <laughs> one that will involve the three of us together. Well, what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. You're trying. I, I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like.
There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. I love Joyce. She is like the best. She puts up a fight when she wants or when she has to. She stands up for her daughter. Whew. <laughs> How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? <laughs> Literally, it's upside down. <laughs> Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Ugh. This thing is a mess. But maybe I can fix it. If this... That's funny. I can't like... Okay, hold on. She was saying, I don't know what to do anymore. She was saying, it rhymes with... Cleave Flavid. <laughs> Beast will ever run again. The first thing it needs <laughs> is a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around here. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit.
Oh, the friendship. I had a good friend like, like, okay, well, I still do like Max, but she left California and she moved to Idaho. But, you know, we still talk every now and then. Kind of like they do. I don't know if I was married before she left. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. She left before I, I got married, but yeah, she's married too now, so why not? <laughs> Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. I think somebody's firing. While an escape hatch could be nice, going off. I should probably cover over this massive hole. What do you call it? Yeah, there's. I bet if I look, I can off. find something else to fix inside the truck. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Oh, I saw a light bulb earlier. <laughs> so I know where to get that. That one's easy. Okay, I kind of know okay. where these are. Let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. Okay, so we go back this way. No, wait. We go back this way. <laughs> And there's a light bulb right there. You might not work. And then again, I hardly ever work. Yeah, that sounds like a really solid beeping. Okay, what else? Okay, I, that rug. And then the towel we need. Uh, yes. Rug? Yes. Okay. Today, you begin an exciting new life as a floor mat. <laughs> and now a towel would. I kind of forgot where that was. Keep on looking. Oh, there it is. <laughs> This might make the perfect cover for that torn seat. Ooh, victory. <laughs> now we can run back. Yeah, it's very thick. Hopefully it wasn't the ones with the kids on the corner. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Mm. 
Yeah. Bryce, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Christ. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard, that's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And, Frank? I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general? Or to you? I'll see you soon. So odd. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. <laughs> what do we have here? Yep. This'll do. Shit. I slept all day. Dad?
Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us, just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. But sometimes, there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? Of getting burned. Hello, Lurks. Welcome. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. <laughs> so, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. You've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A uh, pirate flag? A freaky red light? Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also going to need some money, <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually suspended you. Really? I'd say it's, like, the most believable thing that's ever happened to anyone in the history of forever. I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria Chase jack your role? Because life is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Yeah, totally. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But now you're in on it too. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me, of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. 
He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, Doc. <laughs> There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks... <sighs> He's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? He's a uh, step douche because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. Poetic. May I also suggest stepladder? Why stepladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! Oh! And pretty soon he's stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. <laughs> Highly controversial. <laughs> I just tend to forget we're live. <laughs> that oh was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. When you think about it, getting suspended from the play is a good thing. You don't have to wear that silly costume and prance around stage like an idiot. Maybe I like prancing around stage like an idiot. Hello, thicker. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Shit, it's playtime. Gotta go clean out my dressing room for Victoria. Not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. Oh well. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe.
Hello, Junk Shack. <laughs> A bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yo, Frank! It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password... drugs? Price, get your ass in here. Yeah, good person. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that woman? Ah! Ah! God! Jeez, man! Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Now I'm fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? Don't mind if I do. Don't even fucking think about it. Damn. <laughs> I wasn't doing nothing. I was just, um... Hey, no book. Okay, little guy. Oh shit! Pompadou, get up here! No, it's so cute. Pompadou. You little killer. It is. Glad I paid that off. 
Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Man, that's a good name. <sighs> okay. Fine. Guess Rachel's dad is into bad girls. You hear the mill burn down? <sighs> Shit. Really? Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. How about you? Did you lose anything in the fire? No. But I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with right now. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have oh, shit man. to discuss. I've got a little job for you. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? From, um, yeah, Captain he's... Oh, holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? Uh, he's an unreliable douchebag. No, nah, this is the first time he's done this. Kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got suspended this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on canvas than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, R Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. be back this soon. Well, here goes nothing. Better hurry up and get into the dorms.
Locked. <laughs> Figures. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. But Evan is right there. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home, thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks... really ridiculous. Hey, uh... Evan, as intelligent as you look right now, you can still see that bird from where I'm standing. I appreciate your concern, but I want to get this shot exactly right. And I've learned something about myself recently. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. For example, I've been trying to get the students and administration interested in forest fire prevention. That is kind of an odd topic to focus on. People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? <laughs> Looks like you were right. Go, Evan. You're a hero of the people. I know you feel like I do. About different things, I'm sure. But you only give a shit about what you give a shit about. I like that. A anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. Well, Evan, I hate to do this. So you, tempting, but, but Evan will see me on. for sure. <laughs> and he sounds like he's in the mood to get me in trouble. Damn it, Evan. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. You're welcome. Okay, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. Sorry, Samuel. All right, time to find Drew's room. No time like the present. Hello, Lemon Juice and oh. Rubber Slayer. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> hey, Skip. 
how's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get suspended? Oh, I don't know what to choose. I'm visiting a friend or I'm on a secret mission. <laughs> Relax. I'm, a I'm just uh, visiting a friend. I can't, I really can't just let you go in. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. What's my official business? Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. If you keep violating students' personal rights, you're going to get fired. Oh, it's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't, you know, patrol? You know Wells doesn't really respect you. Right? You're just a, a rent-a-cop who needs a haircut. I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? I, I thought we were friends too, but when the man comes down on you, you come down on me. Is that it? Look, look, look! I am really sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. <laughs> you're, oh, no. you're sorry? Y you just looked at my tits. Y you did. You stared right at them. Oh, shit. I, I don't know what to do. Seriously, m my uterus is on fire, dude. Wh what? Is that uh, descriptive enough? I don't want to know about- En fuego utero, Skip. En fuego utero. I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Matthews. <sighs> I'm here? I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Oh, thank God. Oh, I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. <laughs> Gore, we got in. Alright, which one is Drew's room? Drew's not here. 
Okay, <laughs> if I were Drew, where would I hide my money? <sighs> Is the money in there? All right. Guess I have to crack a Ford. This is kind of fun. Ah. Oh. Did little Drew beat you up too? Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. Okay, got the money. Hey, Mikey. Chloe? What are you doing here? I was <laughs> looking for your brother, but uh, he's not here, so... Why? Bro, we gotta go. What are you doing here? Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff, let's move. Drew, relax. Slow down. Shit! You're making me think you're nervous about something. Drew, what's going on? Don't worry about it. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two-a-days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough time. Yeah, bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. I want my fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm gonna... Where is it? Please, just give me one week. You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. Sorry to have to do this, kid. No one steals from me. No one. Fuck. Fuck. Let me go. No. Your brother said to stay inside. It'll be okay, Mikey. It'll be okay. Damn. You were one tough kid. Fuck you. Yeah? Well, what about this? Hmm. Ah! Good luck running on that knee now. Bye-bye ah! football. <coughs> well, I'm done. Get my money. Or maybe it'll be your little brother I talk to next. See you soon. Ugh! Uh, Drew! It's, it's okay. I'm okay, little brother. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. I... I didn't do anything. You kept my brother safe. Drew? You need to get to the hospital. <sighs> Don't... Tell anyone about this, okay? Yeah, no. No way. What, um, 
What are you going to do? <sighs> About Damon? I don't know. <sighs> One day at a time. I hear you. This day has been so messed up, and that's... Before having to watch Victoria butcher Rachel's role. At least I can be here for Rachel. Did Doug <laughs> if did I can find her. Rachel? Oh, come on, V. You got this. You got this. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I can't do this. I'm going to ruin the play. What are you two doing here? Or did you forget? You let this loser dropout sabotage you. Just like she tried to sabotage me yesterday. But really, I should be thanking you. Now I have everything I wanted. And you've got a new friend. So I guess we're both doing great. Now please leave so I can get ready for my performance. Even though I wish I was the one performing tonight, Victoria, I really am happy for you. I hope it's everything you want it to be. We both do. Right, Chloe? Rachel might be taking the high road, but not me. I know how much she wants to perform. All I need to do is convince Victoria that it's in her best interest to quit. I don't know. Have you really thought this through, Victoria? Performing tonight could be the equivalent of... social suicide. What are you talking about? You think I'm going to take advice from a loser like you? Don't you know your Shakespeare? Tis better to have loved and lost than never to have gone on stage and made a complete ass of yourself in front of everybody, ever. People love theater. It's cool.
High school is war. Theater is that part of war where you get impaled by a spear and you shit your guts out and then all your friends abandon you. The dramatic arts at Blackwell are venerated by... Uh, what am I saying? I don't have to justify myself to you. Understudy is a funny word, don't you think? Kinda tells you exactly where on the social hierarchy you belong. The best of Blackwell are out there watching. Victoria, you, you just won that photography award. You're actually good at that. Why waste your time on this clown show instead? Chloe, you're being a little harsh, don't you think? No, she's right. She is? I am? What was I thinking? Oh, look at this thing. I can't go out like this. I can't play this part. I don't know the lines. I don't understand the stupid play. I don't even like theater! You don't know the lines? Hello? I was cast as understudy to you? What were the chances I was actually going to be here? So... I quit! The show can go to hell for all I care. I'm not going down with it. You outdid yourself, Price. <laughs> I guess I did. I never saw that. I better get ready. Oh, hey. Uh... That's mine. The gloomiest shirt of the bunch. How did I know you were gonna pick that one? I guess Prospera knows all. Oh, okay. I better start getting into costume before the- Swing party! We're ruined! The show is ruined! That was quick. My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet? is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. That's it. I will not abide this lack of professionalism any longer. I quit! Victoria? In fact, I am protesting the entire Blackwell Arts Program. It's time our talents were appreciated and not squandered by subpar faculty. <sighs> Good luck with your train wreck. Touché, fates. Touché. Mr. Keaton, perhaps I could fill in for Victoria? My dear, your visage is as a vessel sent by the heavens to offer passage to my stranded soul. But I'm afraid without our Ariel, all is still lost. What? Uh, uh, oh, no. Mr. Keaton, no. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. At least until the road's clear. The romantic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic at it. My dear, what if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? I'd say you're super fucked. Chloe. Please, for me. <sighs> Damn it. Oh, <laughs> how cute. I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. I know, I've never seen that happen. <laughs> oh. 
I can't leave until I've looked at the script at least once. Oh, duh. I knew that. <laughs> the script, right. Um, go back and... I seriously have to memorize all of this? Thanks, Rachel. Yeah, thanks, Rachel. <laughs> he said, Chloe, the show is starting. We got great seats. Where are you? Oh, you'll see. Question mark, question marks. By accident most strange, bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to the shore. Here, cease more questions. Thou art inclined to sleep. Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm on. You. I am ready now. Get up there. Approach, my Ariel. Come. Damn it. No problem. I've got this. I just walk to Rachel and say my line. <sighs> All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Most fearless, generous spirit. Hast thou performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? I boarded the king's ship. In every cabin, I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring, the most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his bold waves. Uh, tremble. My brave spirit, who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason. Uh, not a soul. The king's son, uh, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried. Cried, <clears throat> hell is empty. And all the devils are here! Yes! But are they, Ariel? Safe? Alright. I guess this is when I'm supposed to walk somewhere. Not a hair perished. And, uh, as thou baddest me, I have dispersed them about the isle. In? Troops! Bravo! Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed. But there's more work. Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? What is't thou canst demand? My liberty! Indeed. Thy liberty? Nay, this most of all I will not grant. Th that's not her line, is it? What's going on? But thou assured my freedom, didn't thou? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, 
and friend. Is acting in my service not replete with excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly, it is so. Mr. Keat, they're way off script. It's magical. Then why, I pray you, wish you to be free? Excitement ages quickly. And I fear if we set out in search of new, uh, fun, you'll tire of me. And, uh, then I'll be alone. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands. Most faithful friend, for but a little longer I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that e'en the name of liberty is forgot. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Say yes! <laughs> yes, I am most pleased. Your duty done for now, so go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. You crushed it! <laughs> so good. You're a born thespian, my dear. I'll be chasing you down next year. And the ending, absolutely transformative. I am humbled. Thanks. What the hell just happened? Strangeness of Was your that story real? Put heaviness in me. Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain. Sir, I do not love to look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho! Slave! Caliban! Come forth, come I say! On! Uh, mm. as wicked do, as e'er my mother brushed. Thou poisonous slave! Got by the devil himself, filth as thou art, I have lodged thee in mine own cell, till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Fresca, a freak show. Shit. He's crying. Fetch us in fuel, and be quick. So, slave, hence. Fuck you! Where should this music be? In the air? Or the earth? Oh, thank God. This play is... super intense. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No, wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. <laughs> I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor! Do you love me? O oh, heaven, O oh, earth, bear witness to this sound. I, beyond all limit, of what else in the world do love, prize, honor you? His tears run down his beard, like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break, their senses I'll restore, and they shall be themselves. Now my charms are all o'erthrown, and what strength I have's mine own. Pray, release me from my bands. 
With the help of your good hands. Wasn't that fun? You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead. <laughs> that was cool. Hello, community showcase. <laughs> okay, we are actually gonna stop it right here, everybody. No, it's past an hour. We'll try to narrow it down somehow. But yeah. <laughs> that was wild! <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for being here. Oh my god, that's crazy. Again, sorry we haven't been on in like four days. We'll try to get this down and edit her. And I promise you we will be back tomorrow for the um, the next one. Uh, have a good day or night. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>